All right, I'm going to be doing like a little video, a little vlog style thing, just like my home studio setup. I'm going to be upgrading it a little bit today, and it is tiny. As you can see, it's a very small room, and I've actually got it on a wide angle lens here on my new phone, just so um, just so you can actually see the whole room in one. And so I'm going to be like doing a couple of little upgrades, a bit of IKEA shit to make it look a bit tidier and hopefully fit a bit more in it, so to speak, make it a bit more comfortable. And then I'm going to do like a little tour afterwards, I think, and just show you what I've got in here, how I've set it up, you know, what little daft space saving things I've done. Because the room's like, what, two meters wide by two and a half meters wide. It's pretty fucking small. So, yeah, anyway, um, let's have a look at my rig first. Alright, so one thing I've got here with my rig is, like, it's pretty much a shitty old desk that I got off a friend, I think it's my mate Matty, years and years ago, and I ended up using it forever, and I've still used it, 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 it just works, but it doesn't look too nice, I've actually, like, put some MDF on here, like, these little wings out, um, pardon all the dust, I thought I might as well clean out once I've done all the stuff, and, you know, just sort of fit these two monitor speakers on either side, so they actually, like, stick out, <laughs> They're relatively sturdy considering they're on sat on foam. So as far I'm gonna get on these big IKEA tops and just make it the whole size. That should be fine. Give me a little bit more work area on the on the top here where you can see I've got my bits and bobs. Down here though, I've got my PC. I know it's isn't very practical for oh god, that needs a bit of a clean as well, doesn't it? Is that dust? Oh, it's the carpet being reflected. It's not dusty. <laughs> anyway, I know it's not very practical having loads of RGB for your sort of um you know, for an audio setup, but fuck it, Maplin was closing down, the case was cheap, I got it. Um, what I'm going to do with that though, because I want some like leg room under here, it's better for your posture, especially when you sat in a very small space. I'm going to get some shelves, so similar to this shelf here, I've got all my old games and stuff on, I'm going to like move it up, and then we're going to put the PC up the top there, and the same with the Kemper, I'm going to chop a shelf down, and then I'm going to put another shelf here, and the, the Kemper's going to sit on top of that, so you've kind of got this suspended bit of a studio. One of the useful bits of this that I did set up is that this is on wheels and the good thing is because I've stuck all the cables together theoretically it just wheels out so you know there's not really a huge there is a huge nest of cables but I've kind of put some velcro and shit on the back and the idea is you can move it all out and at the back there you've literally just got you know your um, uh, power extension and an ethernet cable going around the back of the room. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to like remove these speakers because you've only got a couple of cables either side and anything off the top of the table. Uh, I'm not going to bother about much underneath or anything like that. I'm just going to do it real quick. This monitor arm I've actually borrowed from work at the minute, which is, you know, so I think they'll probably appreciate me bringing that back at some point. It's just because previously there's like a bit of a lip down here, but it's not enough to get the clamp that I've got from the other monitor arm on. So I'd sort of borrow this one because it's one you can screw through the table, um, but it's a bit chunky to be honest what I need. So it's a bit lighter weight the one I'm going to put on, and obviously when we're out of lockdown that can go back in the cupboard <laughs> at work. But yeah, I think they'd appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, so other than that, let's crack on, let's see how we get on with it. So that is the cleanest my desk has looked in a very long time. I work in AV, so normally the back of monitors where I work are secured with like security screws so smackheads don't come in and nick all your displays. But for me, personally, I've got thumb screws. I think no one really does that on the back of monitors. Stick some thumb screws on. Piece of piss. Take it off. Easy. I don't know where I got this screwdriver right, but I've had it about 20 years, no word of a lie, and it is the best fucking screwdriver I've ever owned. And I just, I just wanted to say that. Let's get it in here anyway. Get this fucker off. And I've just realised that's a hex key. This is the uh, Cyberdyne Systems T800 Model 101. Like, one of the good things with IKEA is the really minimal packaging, I suppose, for the environment. But the bad side to that is when you just wrap it in paper, it arrives damaged. So, you know fucking massive dent in the corner there I'm gonna have to hide that at the back but then because this side's done that's now the front so I've got like scuffs in my table <laughs> I mean it's a six quid tabletop what are you gonna do fucking complain you know it's like normally I just go and pick it up but we're in lockdown so I can't just go to a, a store and just get it anyway I was gonna get a black one anyway but they were out of stock and when I went to reorder I was like nah 29 pound delivery you can fucking do one lads so yeah I'm going to stick this on for now anyway, and then I'll probably, once lockdown's over, I'll, like, chuck this one in the bin and go and get a 10-quid one that's black and looks nicer. 
the thing's got a few fucking scuffs as well, but you know well, that doesn't matter because I'm just putting brackets on the sides anyway, and it's I'm, I'm sure I'll live. Yeah, well, let's get on with it. And there we go. That's the uh, tabletop on. Well, not yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it down with some of this double-sided tape. Just realised I've got a selfie stick with a camera attachment, so you can have some nice fixed shots now. Hey, eh? that's nice. Right, I'm just going to whack some of this down. So this monitor arm doesn't want to be on centre here because this bit, the vessel mount, where the centre of the screen is going to be, is going to be off off to one side. So probably going to move it over this way a bit, but then obviously the, the weight of the monitor, I'm hoping to bring it down fairly, fairly low. So what I'm probably better off doing, I think, is just sticking the monitor on and sticking this on here because then this doesn't want to be in the way of me speakers. Yeah, it's all fun. We'll figure it out anyway. Nice little feature on this one. Is that it's got a clip on monitor arm so you can just drop it in fantastic see if it works there we go we're nearly in Eey. and there you go so that is pretty much spot on pull it right back there in between the two that's kind of what i wanted is the ability to drop it in there if I need a bit more workspace down here, and then obviously when I want to be using better posture, I can bring it a bit closer, etc. That was pretty good. The other slight logistical issue I've got is fitting the PC. Is it logistical? I don't know anyway. Geometrical? Who gives a fuck? The only DIY problem I've got is fitting this PC into this space here. So I'm going to be putting it there above my monitor. It's kind of like, it's not ideal. Maybe, I hope there won't be too many noise issues with it. Probably only when I'm gaming anyway, which isn't too bad. Um, but I've got to try and fit it in. I've measured it as 55 centimetres clearance I'm going to need in order to fit both a case in and have a little bit of clearance in order to fit USB shit in the top because there's some USB slots up there and obviously have some space for airflow. Um, but then you've got these brackets, but you've got this thing down here. I don't know if you can see. That's going to get in the way, maybe. I don't. That's okay to go in while it's flat. I'm not really going to want it like high, and you can move this out a bit and then get raise it up, whatever. That's fine. Got quite a lot of manoeuvrability there, but this needs to slide in underneath. So I'm hoping I'm going to have enough space. So if I like rest that on there, that's where the bracket's going to go, and I need 55 centimeters of clearance basically, and a bit more really. Um, and we've, ah, oh, 56, 56 centimetres, which means you get, I'm going to need like about a centimetre there for this to slide in underneath the, 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 the shelf if I want the monitor all the way back. So that's pretty good. That's going to be really snug. Right, I've kind of measured the width for the PC for this shelf we're putting up. I think that's coming out 44 centimetres along between the two sets of feet at the bottom. We need it obviously to fit on here. I don't want it to sit on these metal bits. I want it to sit on the actual shelf itself, just to sort of sit down because there's a bit of a drop. And so we're going to get 44 plus whatever this is. It's coming in out like just over three centimetres. So I will call it 45 plus three plus three, 51. That's how big we need to cut the bit of wood. Um, we've got one of these shelves like this one up here. That apparently you can cut to size we're about to find out um and then there's another shelf here i'm going to measure for the kemper so we're going to do the same process for that basically it's going to be a bit smaller the kemper shelf's going to be about as small as it needs to be uh so let's go well we're in the kitchen now because uh dickhead here broke the garage door or rather to be fair the garage door broke itself that's my excuse anyway so while we're waiting to get a new one in i'm locked out my garage wonderful Anyway, we're going to use the kitchen instead with what few tools I've got in the house that aren't locked in there. I had to go buy a saw from Wilco's. Um, I needed one of these anyway, sod it. So, I've got this from out the car, strapped it to the kitchen table, stuck some cookbooks under it, and now I think we're going. I think we're good to go now. So anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Lass has come to check. 
What was the commotion? You're doing it wrong. Right, so mark this up nice and level. So the marks on there, and obviously use the spirit level to make sure vertically that's level. I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to take that, slide it into this, check that's level, mark up the other side, and then hopefully we get a nice, lovely working shelf. You know how to put a shelf up, surely. Come on, it's not hard. Anyway, let's go. So that's looking quite nice with the shelf up. Got the PC on top. Need to do a bit of cable management before I can switch that bad boy on. Should look pretty cool. You can see here, I've got to put my foot down on the bottom though in order to shift this because um, there's not a lot of weight on the bottom now. Not so bad when I'm sat behind it. But you can see there, just slide under if you need to get the monitor a bit further back for working on the desk area. Or, you know, bring it forward. So it's pretty good. You can bring it up once you've got it out if you need it high for some reason. So yeah, in terms of little spaces, we're doing quite well, I think. I'm happy with that. Let's get the camper shelf up. I'll not document all that bollocks because it'll be even more boring than it's already been. All right, it's got dark outside. That's not because I'm really lazy. It's because I went and had some tea and I've started drinking now, actually. So we've got the camper shelf up, so Let's stick this on here. And that. It's like kind of so it's just flush with the edges more or less and there you have it finally got all the cables I didn't bore you with the cables video but that's my new setup looking much cleaner much more organized you got your um, PC up the top there not too many wires hanging off the back to be honest it's pretty good and then just as a little bonus feature I got myself a bath mat to put my feet on how nice what I might actually do with this surface is um, I'm going to get one of them big giant mouse mats, I think, that cover over that bit. So i got that. Um, don't know what's popular at the minute. Just cover it in hentai, I suppose. That's what everyone seems to be doing. Nah, um, seriously, though, I've um, got one that's got, an, obviously, me being totally gay for RGB. Um, I've got one with a big RGB edge to it on the way. So that's going to be on there. It's going to be glowing like unicorn puke because I love that shit. Anyway, we're going to do a little tour of everything now. I'll show you around the whole studio, which isn't very far. Let's be honest, it ain't going to take long. Okay, we are then. As I said, I was going to do a little tour of um, my tiny, tiny studio. As you can see, it's absolutely chock-a-block full of crap. I've got the wide-angle lens on, so it probably looks like twice as big as it actually is. But I thought maybe it'd be a little interesting to do a little thing about studio with, you know, like, uh, not much space to spare and just sort of see how you manage to fit everything you need in. As you probably see from the other video, this is the thing that we've been doing before. So I've got my little extra shelves I've put in, I've put my PC up there. And, you know, like, gone the rig I've got, that's, um... I went RGB and shit, I know that you maybe shouldn't do when you've got an audio PC and that, but it's pretty quiet to be honest, not too bad. Uh, it's got a RTX 2060 Super, 16 gig of silly glowing RAM. It's got a Ryzen 5 2600 overclock to 4.1 gigahertz. Uh, you know, it's got some water cooling, some fans, it's got a massive hard drive for samples, um, a little um, SSD and an NVMe, you know. It's, you know, it's a gaming rig and it's a production rig. It's pretty good. I'll probably upgrade the processor at some point. Uh, for like the audio thing here, oh, the monitor, by the way, it's 1440p. It's 144 hertz, but I've got it set to 60 now because, you know, um, so it doesn't screw up on the camera. Uh, yeah. Uh, the interface, I kind of went with this. This is the Focusrite. It's a second gen 18i8, and it's, it's actually currently going into a disassembled... Um, Native Instruments interface that I actually took to bits but still works. That's a guitar rig one. That's just to put like audio from my door going uh, DAW thing going into my sort of um, software for OBS when I'm recording out of it. It worked all right for that. It seemed easy doing it the hardware route. Uh, the reason I got this one is because it's got um, ADAT on the out as well as Spudif so I can talk it talks to the Kemper. But um, it's got it can hook up to this. This is my old Firewire interface which you know nowadays a uh, oh drop something there never mind fairly useless um and uh, you know they can be just a pain in the ass and they haven't got up-to-date drivers but it works as an eight channel preamp over ADAT so I can hook into this if I want to take it out somewhere and record someone on drums which I've done before uh, you know so that's kind of the basic rig there you know like right above that I'm going vertical I've got a few of my old toys and crap bunch of old PC games um 
I actually like took a lot of them out of the boxes and put them in these little files and shit just to do that. And they, these are full of the CDs from like music tech magazines and stuff, you know. Um, this is pretty cool actually. I got this from the guys in the Infernal Sea. So that's some of the artwork that got printed when they brought out the Great Mortality. Got a couple of other bits. That one, this one was actually, now was it the Royal Academy I think? That actually got put in a friend of mine, Adam Hogarth made it. Um, it's actually one of his original bits. That he sold me and I quite liked it. It's a tour poster from uh, pigs, 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 pigs. That's seven pigs, I think. Probably. Anyway, it's a cool poster, so I bought it off him. Um, yeah. So anyway, what else have we got? So under this, yeah, I've got some like other bits down here. Uh, obviously, I got my mic with this little stand on there, which is pretty cool. We're not using that now. I'm just doing this ad hoc. Uh, that like glass head was I was using to mount an oculus on um, So I just bought it because it's like a tenner for a head to put um, I borrowed an oculus from work for a while um, I'm gonna get one the, a new one of those I might do some VR videos at some point um, Down here's a little thing I did I got like an old door off another Ikea bit and I've put like a, a hinge on so you can Bring that up like that so you know, it's a nice little space saver so you can bring that up um, I probably can't bring it back down again. There's like a little catch underneath that allows you to bring that up. So you can put it flat against the wall, so there's a bit more space. Got my guitars, uh, I'm an alien on one of them. This height poster, this is a gig I did sound for, but that's actually covering a massive hole in the wall where these, these, this wall's dog shit. This wall's brick, this is fine. Um, yeah, where um, the guitar, one I had the third guitar in there fell down. Thankfully didn't damage anything apart from took a massive hole out of the wall, so I'm gonna have to fix that before we move out. Again, another little rack here for all my cables and stuff. Pretty much gotta squeeze everything in, man. Um this chair I've had for ages. It's worth getting a good chair, guys. Always get a good chair. This is a little hotas setup I made with like a thrustmaster stick and like a little frame that I built. There's an old monitor down there that started glitching out, so I'm probably gonna sell that at some point. Um yeah, just other crap in general. These pickups, by the way, I might do a video on them or something there. I actually like um, drop those in acid to get that kind of weird relic effect on them. I might do some stuff on this. It needs a new nut on that guitar at some point. So yeah, I've got my guitars down here in the corner. I think I mentioned that before. Some of this crap's all for like AV stuff. I work as an AV guy. So this is borrowed from work while we're on lockdown to try and like build up like a lecture theater control system. Um, probably boring as fuck, even more so than my usual tech stuff. And obviously got the trusty orange cab, got over 200 quid from a guy in Newcastle and you know, absolute bad, it's a close back too. So yeah, there you go. Um, and then you just got this huge, you know, as you can tell, I'm um, pretty much have a bit of a love affair with Ikea stuff. This is useful, everyone's got one of these, every vlogger's got one, haven't they? They stick all the crap on. I've got all my general crap and documents and that, a load of strategy guides, tons of music tech magazines and game magazines. Um, generally all this stuff's like just tools and stuff pulled in. I do find these useful, so I've got all my little cables and shit like USB, hubs, hard drives, all sorts of stuff. I think there's a bunch of music cables in there. The mount you can actually manage to fit in. There's like guitar pedals in these ones. I think that one's, yeah, that one's literally just Ethernet cables and stuff like that. Um, you know, so there you kind of go. And I've managed to like stack some guitars up there. You got your thing. This is part of a project that I'm going to be working on soon. So everything in here is going to be like, I'm going to try and make like a VST um guitar amp i've got like a tiny little pc like one of those nuc units i'm going to try and make a rack mount sort of guitar amp that runs vsts effectively so you switch it on you know uh, i thought it'd be fun maybe use it as a little sort of mobile recording rig as well we'll see how it goes anyway it's an idea that's the box of box of shame firewire old school crap but yeah so there you go, that's uh, kind of my studio. It's like you say, it's absolutely tiny. I do have a garage as well, like a workshop, um, but that's a complete pigsty, so I'm not showing you that, and the garage door's broke. But yeah, anyway, um, if you like the video, you know, give us a like, give us a subscribe, whatever. This isn't my usual content, I'm just doing some, like, fucking vlogging bullshit here. But I'll be doing some nicely produced stuff soon, so hopefully with this rig, and I'll uh, see you soon, guys.